Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at installing the eTrailer Class 3 trailer hitch receiver on a 2022 Nissan Frontier. So this is what our trailer hitch is going to look like when it's installed and the great part about it is the cross tube is pretty well hidden underneath the rear bumper so all that's hanging down is going to be the receiver end here so that way you can still hook up to your accessories but still maintain a very clean OEM look. You're going to see it has a two inch by two inch receiver tube opening with a reinforced collar so that's going to be great for a number of different accessories whether it be a ball mount a bike rack or a cargo carrier now when you put your accessories in your receiver you're going to make sure that you have a 5 8 hitch pin and clip now the hitch does not come with one but a lot of your accessories when you buy them will come with the actual pin and clip now if you would need to pick one up we have plenty of options available here at e-trailer including locking ones and that way when you have your ball mount or accessories loaded up you can lock them in place and they're not going to walk away in the hands of someone else now if you are putting a ball mount on here and plan on pulling a trailer you're going to see the rolled style safety chain loop here is going to be nice and open for your standard size hooks or even your larger clevis style Speaking of towing, you may be wondering what can this actually handle? Well, it's a decent amount of weight. In fact, the gross trailer weight rating is going to be 5,000 pounds, and that's going to be the weight of the trailer plus the accessories loaded up. You also have a tongue weight rating of 500 pounds, and that's going to be the downward pressure on the inside of that receiver tube opening, so your suspended accessories like your bike racks or cargo carriers. Now, this can be used with weight distribution, and it bumps it up quite a bit to 8,000 pounds of gross trailer weight rating and 800 of your tongue weight rating. So overall, some pretty hefty numbers. Now, you are going to want to check your vehicle's owner's manual to see what it's actually capable of towing and pair that with the numbers on the hitch. Take the lower of those two numbers so you stay safe. We're going to do some quick measurements here. So from the center of the hitch pin hole to the furthest point of the rear bumper, we're looking at right at about three inches. And that's going to just kind of be important for some of your folding accessories, just to make sure they don't make contact with your rear bumper. Now, keep in mind with those folded up, you're not going to be able to lower your tailgate down. So just something to consider. Now we're going to check our ground clearance here. And we're looking at right about 16 and a half inches. And that's important to note for when you have your accessories loaded up and when you go on an incline or maybe some rough terrain, sometimes those can actually dip down and make contact with the ground. But with this kind of ground clearance, I don't suspect that you should have many issues. While the hitch is going to add a lot of versatility and usability of your truck, you're probably wondering, well, yeah, but what's the installation like? I'm here to tell you this is a very easy one. It can be done in your driveway or garage with just a three quarter inch socket in probably about 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm going to actually walk you through that right now and we'll get your hitch installed. To begin our installation, first we're going to want to look at the actual weld nuts here. And main reason being is these can be exposed to the elements. So if you have any buildup in those, sometimes rust or corrosion can build up. Having a little tube brush here and a little bit penetrating oil goes a long way of just kind of cleaning those threads out just to make sure that our hardware actually feeds up there properly, making it a lot easier to actually get them hand tightened in place. So now you're gonna to wanna to grab your hitch with your hardware in hand and we'll just raise this up in place. And we're gonna to wanna to just hand thread on one of the bolts. So just kind of line it up and just get a few threads on there and that's just gonna hold this hitch in place on one side. It's gonna make it a lot easier to get the other side in place. So with that side in, I can move over to the other side. So now at this point, our hitch will be suspended. We can go ahead, grab the rest of our hardware and hand tighten them in. Now with our hardware hand tightened in place, we'll go back with a three quarter inch socket and I'm using an impact here and I'm just gonna kind of zip it up. It doesn't have to be too terribly tight. You want it snug, but we're gonna go back with a torque wrench shortly after this. So let's get these all tightened up. So now we're gonna go back and torque all of the same hardware to the manufacturer's spec in the instruction manual. Now using a torque wrench here, if you don't have one, uh, we have these here available at eTrailer, but generally you can rent them at an auto parts store as well. This is just gonna make sure that it's not too terribly tight, putting stress on the threads, but also it's gonna be tight enough to not become loose over time. So now with all of our hardware tightened and torqued to spec, we're ready to go and use our hitch. 
And that was a look and installation of the e-trailer class 3 trailer hitch receiver on a 2022 Nissan Frontier.